You know, it seems like it was a long time ago, if I remember right. I had a friend that told me, he knew a guy whose buddy told him, every once in a while, a man has to look around, just kind of assess the situation and just see where he's at in life and look at the stuff around him and ask himself, what the hell have I done? So winners finally decided to show up and while the Trans Am and the Camaro are both comfortably hibernating under their blankets, I had to make the executive decision to put the Monte Carlo on the back burner. And the reason being is my everyday driver, uh, 2008 Saturn View, about eight months ago decided to give up the third and fourth gear in the transmission. So. I started looking for a transmission, couldn't find one that was affordable. The car's not worth $2,000 that I'd have to put into the transmission to replace it with a rebuilt or a new one. So I went and uh, looked online and finally found one for 250 bucks. And they say it's good, I don't know. I'm gonna find out. But I had to go ahead and pull this guy out and bring the Saturn into the garage and get started on that. So just a quick update on the Saturn. I'm coming out at the top. I'm not doing it the conventional way where I'm dropping the carriage because I got that much room to lift the car up and I don't have a car lift. So I'm gonna try not to pull the front of the car apart. I think it'll fit. We're gonna find out. And it only took about 43.74 hours to get all of that stuff loose. So the engine and transmission is stuck. Halfway in, halfway out. Can't go back in. Can't come all the way out. And I tried real hard to follow the rules and do it the wrong way. I was trying to do it the wrong way, the right way, but the right way wasn't possible. The wrong way, well, here's where I'm at. It's not working out so good for me. So now I'm gonna do it the wrong way, the wrong way. Because it's my car and I'll do what I want. So the battle continues. I've been pulling on this thing on my spare time for the last couple of days. Uh, the CV axle was a bear trying to get in there and pull it out of the transmission. Now, I don't care because I've got a new transmission to put in here. So I kept trying to get in there and just pry against that case. If I crack the case, who cares? <coughs> excuse me, but I could not get in there with this and get any leverage because of this here. So I thought, I need a 90, I need a 90, and nothing was working. And I thought if I could get a pipe wrench and spin this guy around that way, and then I could leverage it that way. Well, I couldn't get this in, so I'll show you. Maybe I can do it on the other side. This is only if you don't care about your transmission case, because I didn't damage it yet. I've been lucky. Uh, let's see. Get a light on there. So, I need to get in here and pull this this out. Like that. And I've been going out of my mind here. So I got this and it won't go in that way. But I found out that it will fit this way. And if you don't drop it, it works out pretty good. So it's come to this. 
I know pulling these engines and or transmissions out of these cars, you're supposed to drop the thing underneath there and get her up, but I don't have a lift, and look, I don't have a whole lot of room, and I was looking at it going, I got an attempt, I can do it, it'll fit if I'm real careful, and I use my leveler and my cherry picker wisely and I twist it this way and twist it that way and turn it and turn it and pull her out well no not gonna happen it's not that it's super tight it's that it ain't gonna fit not gonna fit it's just now starting to touch into the radiator and this is in the way I thought for a minute I'd take the alternator off and then I look down here and there's there's more there's another pump down there and so it's not like, you know, I've done a lot of work. I've only taken the entire car half apart, got the engine transmission loose. I battled that motor mount in the middle down there for a while. So, you know, I'm not giving up, but I'm kind of in a pickle because I can drop her back down a little bit. But I've got to be careful that I'm not pulling wires loose and hoses and stuff. I've got everything kind of all coming out together in unison. I don't even know how the hell this comes off. I'm going to have to get the chops off from work. I don't know yet. i got to figure it out. What a pain in the butt. But I definitely got to get the radiator out of the way. I don't want to damage that. Don't want to screw up my AC. The only reason I'm keeping the car in the first place is because the transmission was cheap enough. I don't like working on front-wheel drive vehicles. It's just not my thing. I can't stand it. I hate it. No room, nothing like that. Give me an old-school rear-wheel drive muscle car. Chevy, Pontiac. I don't care. Both kinds. Hmm. So, everything's loose. She's she's swingable, but you know what I mean? It's like, mm, hidden here. Um, I don't know. I guess for now I'm going to go regroup, take a break, sit down and watch a little bit of VGG, and contemplate it. It's going to happen. It's just a matter of how. I'll get there. It's not like it's the only thing I've got to drive. I've got seven other broke down vehicles in the driveway. No sweat. Worst case, it's been a pretty nice winter so far. Boom. Pull that sucker off from under the tarp. No, not going to do that. It ain't that warm. Anyway, we'll see what happens. To be continued. <laughs> so here we go some more. I got underneath here and started taking all of this garbage off of here. And no, nah, -uh. but I did gain access to be able to pull the alternator or the radiator and all this guy back so it's not hitting that. I'm, that's the biggest fear. I don't want to damage my fans or my radiator or any of that. Now I got access to the alternator. I'm going to pull the alternator off because I really want to just go. And then come out with it. But if I can avoid that, I'm going to because I think if I get the alternator off, I can get enough room to get this guy up past here. And then I'm going to deal with the AC compressor. First thing I got to do is take the belt off. <clears throat> yes. I don't mean, give you much room on that either. This was probably time for this belt to come off. I'm figuring it's probably the factory belt from 2008 with 260,000 miles on it. Actually, that sucker is in good shape. There's no real cracks or bends in it. Can't get it the rest of the way off because it's pinched. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Look at that cute little thing. 
that's pretty cool that belt actually is in great shape for being as old and as many miles as is on it okay well, we'll reuse that because we don't want to spend any money I'm gonna just find a socket to fit this out later. Guess wrong. Guess that's another fine thing that they've done here. GM and their wisdom has used 84 and a half different size nuts and bolts on here. Everything you turn is different. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Now if I can get this guy to come loose, hopefully I got access through here for that other one. There should be just three of them, I hope. I don't know. There might be some glue and tape holding it on. They used about everything. Okay. One out. Two to go, maybe. I have to take that bottom one out and then let her down a little bit. Just let the alternator fall on the ground. Maybe. Let's we'll see what happens. Look at that. Easiest. Probably going to put a new one on there if I decide to put this car back together. I got a little more room. A little more wiggle room. Oh, oh yeah. The next thing is the AC compressor. And that is going to definitely get in the way. Unless I can fish it up under here, pull this up, swing it that way, break the windshield, and then make my way out. Let's see what happens. Christmas present. Pretty slick. I like it. Never had a set of these in my life. All the years I've ruined cars. Now I can ruin them a little more easily. It's more convenient this way. I should take those bolts because they're probably different than these and put them over there with the all there. Oh, maybe not. It might be about the same. Take them over now so I don't get confused. Ooh, yeah, that's shorter. So if that stays here, these go alternator side. Oh, yeah, that pop 
popped right off and it hurt like hell. Oh, that's good. It popped because it broke. So, I just ruined my AC. That is broken. Well, like I always said, if you get hot, put your windows down. Party's over. I'm done playing around. But guess what I'm gonna do? I'm not playing no more. I'm done. I ain't playing. Same the game. You might notice I'm standing directly in the shower with sparks, that's for safety reasons, because I don't want to catch the garage on fire. I figure if I get lit up, I'll just run outside and roll around in the snow, save the garage. I'm going to go some of it. Yeah, I probably should have looked at that a little better before I did that. I wonder if I can get through this one. That one is pretty thick, too. Sawzall. Sawzall. A torch. A couple sticks of dynamite. We're all in now. At the point of no return. You know, why didn't they just put this trap door on here in the first place? Look at that. It's coming out now. I'm going to put this over here so I don't forget to put it back. I've heard a lot of people say there's no right way to do the wrong thing. Kind of disagree. transmission from the engine put the engine on the engine stand and go through it and clean up the gaskets and clean up everything get all the oil off of it change the gaskets that, that are easy enough to get to I'm not going to make this a bigger project than it's already become it's already been a disaster but it ain't been so bad it's been perfect everything went swimmingly she's out I knew it was gone. Just didn't know I was gonna to have to cut the car in half. All because of you. 
stupid. Piece of cake. No sweat.